looking at the Correa Norma L machine and we've traveled to Ipswich to Claydon Precision Machining. I've called Richard here from DTS to help give us a specification on this machine. So what machine are we looking at? This is the Correa Norma L, the, the traveling column machine. Right, and what size have they gone for? Uh, this is the, the uh, Norma 45, which is a 4.5 in X, 1.25 in Y. But you can go from 6 to 8 metres, can't you? That's correct, you? yeah. That's a hefty old machine. So what, <laughs> what casting is this? Is it one solid this, casting? This particular machine is a one-piece one casting. So who's this machine aimed at? This machine's aimed at uh, all large industries like marine and construction. Right, the capacity on the table is six tonnes, so it's obviously going to help the industries that you've just spoken about. But what about the spindle, the power? The, the power delivery on the spindle is also aimed at the heavy cutting. So, which more than meets the, the needs for this customer. And what are the L-shaped guide systems? So as opposed to side slung rams, this has uh, supports on bottom and sides, giving you the l shape. And what will that support. do? It gives more rigidity and uh, more, more accuracy, basically. So this company's chosen to go for a flatbed table, but what options can you have? Okay, the options, you can have twin rotary tables, so if you were tandem loading the machine, you could have a rotary table at each end, or you could opt for just a rotary table in the middle of the table. Brilliant, so you're telling me that you could be working on one part whilst the other's loading? That's correct. Okay, and what's the temperature probes that you've got within the machine? Because a machine like this is going to generate a lot of heat. Okay, so the machine has got uh, thermal compensation which is done via the, the probes, which as the machine warms up it compensates for it and maintains the accuracy. And you need it on a day like today because it's so <laughs> hot. So what about the heads, because you can have different heads on this machine too. Yes, there's quite a variety ranging from a 2.5 degree index to a 0 0.02 degree index. We also have a 5 axis full, uh, simultaneous head as well. So tell me about the control system that you've got on this machine. So this is the, the latest control from Hyde 9, which is uh, developed by Correa as well with sh uh, shortcut features. Tell me about the control system they've got. Okay, this is the, the latest Hyde 9 control with the touchscreen integration as well. So that's obviously going to benefit users because we all use TVs, iPads and everything. It's touchscreen, so that's going to be really useful for engineers, right? Yes, it makes it a lot easier for the operator to, to use as well. Okay, and the tools, how many tools can you have on uh, there? This particular one's got a 30 tool, tool changer, but that capacity could be up to 100 tools if, if it was required. So it's really application specific. Yes, it is, yeah. Now, what are the benefits of having a fixed table? Because you have other machines, but this is fixed and then the spindle is moving. So what's the ultimate benefit here? Well, one of the main benefits is you can put high, high loads on the table and it's not, the machine's not trying to move that load. It's moving around the, the weight. So it's kind of got equal mass all yeah. the time. And yes. then, of course, that's going to help with longevity. Yes, that's correct. So what's the installation on a machine like this? Is it easy or is that a silly question? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's easy. <laughs> no, no. It's, we're looking at a, a two-week two -week installation on this machine. We're two thirds of the way through it now, so. So the installation on this machine, what needs to be done? Okay, so uh, most importantly is the foundations for the machine. If the machine hasn't got the, a, a sturdy enough foundation, you'll never achieve the accuracy that it's designed to do. So initially a big pit is dug 1.5 meters deep and then filled in with uh, high density concrete. So all in all, what is so good about this machine? Okay, so this machine will reduce the amount of operations on the components they're making. It will maintain higher accuracy and ultimately earn the company more money.